With markets continuing to push to all-time highs, there is an underlying connotation. A lot of people are saying, are the markets overvalued? There's way too many stocks that are trading at future multipliers. There's indicators that are showing that stocks are due for a pullback. But that is the main question. Are stocks too overvalued right now? And obviously, super subjective. But I came across a, an example. It was kind of brought to the limelight by David Einhorn in his letter to the shareholders of one company that is for sure, for sure, uh, an indication of what's going on in this market slash some maybe other illegal activities. So we're going to be breaking down that company. But at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you my uh, intuition as to what's going on in the market and what we can expect moving forward and different areas of the market that I would be looking to invest. But if this is your first time here, my name's Nick. Welcome to Ways of Wealth. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you a huge favor. If you learn something new, or you get some value out of the video, hit that like button for me. I would definitely appreciate that. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button, turning that notification bell on. I would definitely appreciate that as well. With that being said, let's take a look at a company by the name of Hometown International. Seems like it is a very big venture on early sites. We see in the past year, it's almost a two-bagger, almost 200%. If we look at the max of this chart, it looks like it IPO'd in October and it's almost up a thousand percent, which is a 10 bagger. But let's deep down uh, dive into what this company is all about. And we can see here it is a deli located in New Jersey with one single location. This is uh, a picture of the facility itself. And you can see with the fold up chairs, how could this company have grown over a thousand percent with one single location? We'll take a look at this article as CNBC did a little bit more of a, a deep dive. And we can see that it, the CEO is this gentleman here Paul and he is a high school wrestling coach that is his day-to-day -day job and he is obviously listed as the CEO of the company and we can see here that it's only one location this gives you a better indication of what it is it's done 35,000 in sales it has a market cap of a hundred million dollars now we can go down and take a look at see a little bit of David Einhorn's letter to the shareholders he says the pastrami must be amazing how is this company trading at almost 13 dollars a share and come from like three dollars a share when all it's done in the past two years is thirty five thousand dollars in sales uh, it also shows that this this group this company has ties to uh, macau and, and it seems to be a private holding company um, but for lack of a better you know giving you an indication of all the illegalities or, or you know crime that's going on here we could also see another article shows that a lawyer that's linked to the creation has been guilty before of creating a shell company so maybe not the best example for david einhorn to use but you know looking a little bit deeper at the financial as we can see here, uh, pulled from the SEC. Uh, this is the year ended in 2020. We can see sales last year were 13000 just shy of $14,000. I think uh, in one of the articles of CNBC, it shows that he paid his dad something like $15,000 a month for uh, consulting fees. So it's definitely one of these ones that you just raise an eyebrow to. And how has it grown to such a high level, especially you know going back? These are the pictures of the single facility that's located in New Jersey. So yeah, taking this out of context, I know um, there's a company, here's an example that David Einhorn has brought to the market about, you know, how a company has kind of grown to this valuation without the fundamentals in place. This company doesn't have, you know, goals to grow different locations. It doesn't have aspirations to be the next McDonald's. There's no way that this market cap should be valued at over a hundred million dollars. So what's the deal here? 
obviously this one has a little bit of contrusion in it there's a little bit of um, criminal activity for lack of a better word obviously now it's kind of rippling through the market so the sec will probably be looking into this but is this a true reflection of everything that's going on in the market and i'm gonna say no yes companies are trading at valuations that are a little bit stretched out they're trading at multiples of future valuations that probably aren't understood this has been talked about in my previous videos that obviously the printing of money that has taken place has put a lot of money into wealthy people's hands they pumped it into the markets but i think if you're an investor with new money at play i think right now it's a stock pickers market i don't think that you can go in and try and you know pick a, a sector like an s p 500 and hope that it continues to run I think what you really need to do, not saying that that's a bad thing, I think that's a great place for, for new investors and S&P 500 low cost, but I think if you're looking, if you're somebody who likes to beat the market or somebody who has more of a conscious effort in order to you know, beat the market, beat the S&P 500, I think you need to look at companies that are uh, expensively, they are expensive, but they're growing and they're growing at 15, 20%. And I think that should be the focus, especially uh, over the long run. Who knows what's gonna happen to a lot of these companies that have run up, but they don't have the financials to support them. That's not a place that you wanna be putting money that's why we've kind of seen uh, names in the fang that have run uh, Google went on a run from 3100 all the way up to 33 or 34 whatever it's at Facebook probably the most notable one that has run this is because these companies although they're you know multi-billion dollar companies they're still growing at rates that are amazing when you break it down. So I think that's the the highlight. Are markets overvalued? Yes, maybe no. Are we due for a pullback? Yes, maybe no. I wish I had a crystal ball, but I think when you're looking at speculative companies versus companies that actually make money, you're gonna wanna go with the latter. You wanna wanna go with the companies that are actually bringing it in. Stay away from the hometown internationals, but let me know what you think. Are we due? for a correction are we due for a pullback or is it full guns blazing ahead earning season looking prime for this bull market i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget leave me a comment below what you're liking in this market but uh, if you made it this far i appreciate your support don't forget hit that like button for me and if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button turning that notification bell on Appreciate your support. Have a great week on the markets. Happy trading.